Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools Music Production Lessons here at Educator.com. This lesson we will talk about another great plugin, another great virtual instrument comes with Pro Tools called Structure Free. Uh, it's the third instrument we're gonna take a look at after uh, Boom and Expand 2 and we're going to uh, be auditioning the presets as well as load up some patches to sample sounds as well as we're going to go ahead and talk a couple of other details such as the knobs and how we can set up bring up the patch and remove the patch all kind of stuff related to structure free structure free is a sample player instrument comes with our proto software when we first load up as you see on screen it may be either empty like the way it is or it may have only one patch that usually would be the uh, default patch of uh, sine wave at this point i don't have anything this is the reason i don't see anything on my main screen here my knobs doesn't represent anything i have a master but it's basically completely empty at this point yeah there isn't even a sound so that may be the case what we can do here we can't really go to the librarian menu because it's not going to bring anything as well as if you were to go to this little icon here to choose sounds you're not going to get like you did on expand so there is no sound the way to start getting the sound out of structure free we need to go to patch area you can go ahead and like right click there and add a patch right there i go under structure free and i have studio drums let's say this is one drum sound that i used before okay this is uh this is my drums load up there the way that you bring you can also remove the uh the patch you can right click and say remove patch or remove all patches and go ahead and add a new one let's go ahead and audition a couple of sounds and see what we have metalworks lead you could transpose in this uh, screen you can go down an octave let's say and i'm hitting the same key could go up higher it's a lead sound as we covered before you could go up to semitone you know semitones is like always half step you could go semitones up and down you could do this manually uh, and you can go either turn up and down the knob or you can just like select the arrows you can change the tuning by fine tune even and even um, adjust the pitch band right there too and under voices we have a couple of options there and there is an options of the key range and even mono mode right there um, so we have down here our uh, smart knobs that we can also apply a couple of changes on this <laughs> This is something I really like working with. We should definitely automate something here in a bit. And as a matter of fact, we can even do that right now. So this is something I told you that I will uh, go ahead and talk about it. So maybe there's like so many smart knobs here that, uh, that you can go there and I'm just going to actually choose everything like all of them and shift click here and add everything so everything can be automated you see everything is in right now this is something that I do quickly because there's so many choices there and I can actually record any kind of automation that that I want but first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and key in my notes 
make sure that works with this track then we're going to record the automation and I will be explaining this one to you something I do often I like to go and choose the notes and then get my pencil tool here and then I'm going to actually loop this C maybe oh that's quite long time that's quite long time. how about if you want this one down an octave how about if we change the sound I remove all patches and let's let's search for another sound it's like less annoying we can go here down you can be a lead sound maybe smooth square lead let's see how it's, it's better 